okay so now let's simply link all of our wavepoint to one another right here in the if condition we will say that if the wavepoint dot previous wavepoint is not equals to null okay if one wavepoint as the previous wavepoint attached then what we want to do we want to show a link and link will be a simple red color okay for the previous wavepoint we will show the red color and right here let's create a vector 3 by the name of offset and this will be equals to wavepoint dot transform dot right and let's multiply that by the wavepoint dot wavepoint width let's divide that by 2f and then create a vector 3 by the name of offset 2 and it will be set to the previous wavepoint dot transform dot right okay and we will multiply that by the wavepoint dot previous wavepoint dot wavepoint width and let's divide that by 2f and we want a simple straight line so for that we will say gizmos dot draw line then we will say wavepoint dot transform dot right actually we need the position and then we will plus that with the offset and then wavepoint dot previous wavepoint dot transform dot position plus the offset 2 okay so we will show the previous wavepoint in a straight line okay and that straight line color will be red color and what this offset means in here we just simply take the position of the current wavepoint and then in here we just simply take the position of the previous wavepoint and then we draw a line from the current wavepoint to the previous wavepoint okay right here as you can see we simply are drawing, drawing a line in the right color and that line will be drawn from the right side of the wavepoint width okay so now if we save this and right here as you can see this red line okay the wavepoint 0 next wavepoint is 1 and the wavepoint 1 previous wavepoint is wavepoint 0 so you can see this red line from wavepoint 1 to wavepoint 0 and then the wavepoint 2 previous wavepoint is 1 so you can see the red line and as i told you we created this line from the right side of the wavepoint width as you can see so now if we decrease the width of the wave point zero you can see the red line is expanding okay now let's draw a line for the next wave point as well so right here we will say that now if the wave point is the next wave point okay if that is not equals to null then what we want to do we simply want to draw a line so let me actually copy all of that paste it down below we just want the color to be green this time and right here add a minus sign and right here as well and guys the reason we use this minus sign right here is we can't use the wavepoint or transform dot left okay so that's why we use this minus sign and what this minus sign will do that it will show the next wavepoint linkage in the left side of the wavepoint width okay right here on the right side we will show the previous wavepoint and then on the left side we will show the next wavepoint okay and the reason we add this minus sign i told you that 
we can't use waypoint.transform.left because that doesn't exist so that's why we use this minus sign so now let me simply save this and right here you will get this error object reference not set to an instance and if you check our wavepoint 0 right here it meets the previous wavepoint so the wavepoint 0 previous wavepoint for now let's set it as true okay now if you remove that as you can see now the linkage between all of the waypoints okay we can see the width of the waypoint then we can see the next waypoint okay and then we can see the previous waypoint as well so now we have the waypoint system added and now we can select any waypoint and we can move that waypoint to wherever we want as you can see we can make the width of the waypoint okay one or two or three or whatever you want okay so this done let's end this video right here